assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udo technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel so go to our channel and click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so as guys as you guys know uh, that we all we are working on udo 16 technical course so in the previous video we have uh, added a new field to the model using a custom module and we have also added that uh, field in the form view of uh, the product so in this video i want to give you the first challenge of this uh, technical course uh, so you need to do it yourself so let me just explain you what you need to do so this is uh, the list view and this is the form view so we have already added the field in the form view using our custom uh, module which you can see here in the py charm uh, that custom module name is od, OD product okay so you need what you need to do is to add this custom field inside uh, this uh, tree view just after the uh, internal reference you can say so uh, let me give you uh, a bit of uh, hints so you just need to uh, go to the list view and then uh, you need to find the external id of the list view then copy the external id and then uh, search inside the udo addons and then just you need to inherit the view just like we have done in this case and then using the x path you can uh, add the field just after the internal reference or before the internal reference so this is your task just try it uh, and pause the video if you can do it this is well and good if you cannot do it just uh, watch the video and uh, i will uh, explain to you how you can do it okay so uh, if you uh, if you have done it already so uh, this is good just follow the video and uh, watch that uh, is it uh, the same way that you have done so first of all we need to activate the debug mode which is already activated and then uh, we will go to the list view which is this one list view and view is uh, the same thing and then go to the debug icon and here you need to click edit view list okay so here uh, you will see this external id which we discussed already in the previous video so you need to copy this uh, external id and it you need to search it inside the product module okay so go inside the project and you need to go to the auto default addons these are the auto default addons open it and here you can search it for the product module okay where is the product module so here it is and then open it here you need to search this external id inside this um, views file so this is the external id this is the view that we are looking for so you just need to copy the whole view okay and then uh, close this section and then uh, go to your custom module which is od product here the, here is our custom module od product and here we have the python product.xml file so open this file and paste all the code here so just copy the whole code and then go to the code section reformat the code so this is it just close it and here what you need to do is uh, to remove everything okay just remove everything and uh, like as i told you that you need to add it just after the uh, internal reference so we need to use the x path x path expr field name is equal to so here you can see uh, if i open the view here here is a uh, field name is equal to uh, what is the name which is default code default code means uh, like uh, the internal reference so the 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 technical name is default code so we need to use it something like default code and position is equal to after so let me just copy the same thing and then uh, paste it here okay like this and we need to use it after because we want to use it after uh, this uh, default code and then the next thing we need to do is to add the inherit id we can just like we have added here so let me just add it here field name is equal to 
inherit id and reference is equal to product where the view is defined like product r you can just copy the whole thing from here and then paste it here like this and then close it this is it this is the simple thing that you need to do and uh, then you just need to go to the um, Odoo apps and you need to upgrade the module od product click the upgrade button to upgrade the module and once the module upgraded you will be able to see the new field in the list view so let me just uh, refresh this page okay here you can see the computer processor field has been added in the list view so there are a few things that you need to keep in mind if you click here you have the options to add or remove the fields so how we can add this option so in order to add these options what you need to do is uh, to add uh, like uh, if we go here in the list view here you can see optional so you need to add this parameter uh, optional is equal to show so if you add optional is equal to show so you will see the field by default here in the list view but if you add show is equal to hide then it will be hidden by default but you can show it so let me just try this uh, option uh, upgrade it uh, so when we have made the changes inside the module uh, like xml file so we need to upgrade the module okay upgrade the module and then we will see the change again so here currently if i click here i uh, i cannot see the computer generation field so i cannot hide this field just from this uh, option so after the module upgrade i will be able to hide this field from here so let me just click here again so here uh, we'll see computer processor you can see so if you click here it will be hidden if you click here like this so if i make it if i want to hide it by default and want to give the options to the user to show it as uh like if you want so we can just make it hide mm, od product and then upgrade the module okay and then uh, just refresh uh or service so here uh it will be uh, uh like it will be by default it will be hidden and you will be able to see it like this okay so uh, this is it for this video if you uh enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also click the bell icon click subscribe to our channel so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you